Hello, everyone. How are y'all doing on this very fantastic day, right? I would like to welcome all of you who joined us today for this full moon in Pisces ceremony. That's a Sophia, which is a fairy caller. It opens a portal to the frequency of the fairies. So we will also be working with the Sophia today for our fairy theme, right? Y'all have no idea what went into this set. It was so much fun. Um, I would like to begin with dedicating the ceremonial lighting to the fire to children who suffer from child sex abuse and trafficking. Um, we know that as souls, we oftentimes choose challenging life experiences to incarnate into. We do this deliberately because the purpose of a soul is to evolve. It is not to come to earth and have it easy. It is not the purpose. It's to pick challenging experiences to have to evolve your soul. So, a lot of children, and you would say, how does a child choose to be sexually abused? That's a story for another day, but people have contracts they make before coordinating of life lessons they want to learn for the ultimate evolution of their soul. But in learning these lessons and choosing these difficult contracts, situations they find themselves in that they chose because they know they offer them the most amount of growth they have to build strong egos and in that building of that strong ego when it is safe to love because eventually hopefully it will be and it's 
difficult for those children to let love in because they've had to build such strong egos. And it's required they bring about a death to the ego. And they slay that beast. The ego is the thing that told Alice in Alice in Wonderland that she was not capable of slaying the Jabberwock. The ego wants you to hide in the corners and keep yourself safe. Kind of like my ego was doing to me with this. I would have never before my transformation that began with an extensive oral surgery, which we're going to do, been able to come out like this. And be who I truly am. Because my ego was saying that you need to protect yourself, you need to hide in the shadows. So these children who suffer sexual abuse, at some point when it's safe to learn to love, they're going to have to slay their ego. So the fire we light tonight is to burn the things that no longer serve, to slay their ego when the time comes and it's safe to love, to face their own job of life. So I'm going to light the fire. I mean, it's going to be a long thing. I've actually got a light out here in case we go into the evening. So I'm going to just keep pausing in between so we can get to everything. Um, I'll explain to you how much my son is relieved that we didn't do a live because he's like, Mommy, you might like to do lives. Now he's nonverbal, but we still communicate. Like, you might like to do lives, but I'm autistic and I'm shy and don't make me do a live. So, before we light the fire, let's align. I would like to align with your higher selves because the information I'm giving today is very important. And there's so many moving parts. I got mail here to show y'all. I got all kinds of things. I just want to make sure I deliver this message in a relatable way. So I'd like to connect with all of your higher selves. Our angels, guides, Federation of Light, Source, Gaia, Crow, Hawk, Kenny, my late husband, especially you, Kenny. Um, all our ancestors along with the highest light, spirit of the main coon, the fairies, unicorn, dragon energy. I would like to ground our energy deep into the crystalline grid of Gaia, deep into the roots of Mother Earth. I would like for us to place a protective white light around the sacred angel fire orb we're using. Just imagine a rainbow colored orb above your head. Protect your white light around ourselves. And a protect your white light around the sacred angel orb to be used for divine harmony and highest good. As we log on to the communication orb, synchronizing our frequencies and clearing our energetic shockers. And also I'd like to uh, thank Chief Ayana who's here with us in spirit. So I'm going to pause and light us a fire that we ceremonially burn that bed.
diving then, let us begin as I take you down my rabbit hole. Yeah, keep it safe in this crazy bar. So this all began, right? I was supposed to start working out at Roots. And I was working great. And then I did this really controversial message about the government, about Christ consciousness, and about what I thought was the fate of the world. And it was really controversial shit. Excuse my language. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Really controversial stuff. And um, I was told that probably wouldn't be a good idea, like, you know, be doing those out there because they don't want to sit to my mouth and they think the message I have is important and it needs to be spoken, just not from their platform because, you know, they don't want to, you know, necessarily be affiliated with everything I say because, you know, everybody's right to their opinion, not everyone is publicly putting it out there. So it freaked me out. It made me question, like, my purpose, my path. Then I started having serious financial issues and my mouth's all messed up by genetics and 10 years of heroin addict, right? Don't really take care of yourself, this fire is hot. We're burning those egos of those little sexually abused children. So, um, I didn't have the money. Um, and I was scared everything was going to shut down again for another COVID outbreak and like my teeth would be falling out my head and all this stuff. Well, Spirit sent me a Hail Mary pass. Sent me the money to get it done. Well, that led me to another problem. I had no one to watch my kid, no one to help me. And Spirit reminded me that I did. My best friend, my four years, Ron Jackson, who's now my boyfriend, um, again, survival. That's what it was. It was a worry about survival. I'm making sure I have enough money to survive. So being overly critical of him, expecting him to do all these things to make me feel safer, which wasn't his job. I 
down all those rabbit holes. You know it was so beautiful when I was at my lowest. I was really hating on myself. Let's light a smoke bomb. I was really hating on myself, right? He told me, so beautiful. He said, Carla, you had to be that person. You had to be that person. You're strong. And your ego is what made you strong. If not for your ego, where would you be? You should be proud of who you are. You just need to understand that it's safe for you to love. You know, because he's a great parent as far as, like, understanding discipline and things like that. And, uh, you know, I grew up in a very dysfunctional household. I didn't really get to learn how to be a parent. I was very intelligent, and I just taught myself what I needed to know and tried to be good as not to, you know, be another bother. My parents already had enough to worry about, you know, they're both working and dealing with their own challenging life experiences they chose to coordinate in.
I put it on my head about the main coon, but I made a call a day prior to the rescue service, which I will be writing an article this week to um, link Miss Anastasia's information in. Um, Miss Anastasia is who I got my two black cat rescues, who were in here, but my pin isn't as good as I thought. And Polka, she dug like so many holes, she's in and out, but Jax is here. But where I got my two black cat rescues from New Orleans, Louisiana, well, from Metry, which is right by New Orleans, Georgia from Metry and Sasha, I reached out to her and told her that I was looking for a main coon rescue. And so funny, as it would have it, earlier that morning, what did they pick up? A 12-week-year-old main coon mix. And when she knew what I wanted Little Merlin for, was teaching and, because I, I wanted to teach people how they can live in harmony with the animals and how nature, how uh, spirit communicates with us through nature and numbers, right? So, um, when she saw what I was doing with the animals, she was so touched. She told me to come get Little Merlin. And we just happened to be in Louisiana. So the next day, we were on our way home. So it was like, we wanted, I wanted it two days before. Like, I started thinking about it. I started putting energy towards it, researching Maine Coons and all that stuff. Called the lady. Then the next day, gave up on it. And then she called me that same day I gave up on it. Like, right when I released and surrendered, she calls me. Not only calls me, not only calls me to, to tell me I can have her, but to say she was going to give him to me with a playpen, with a pet carrier, with a ton of food. Because, see, he was a male. They were just taking him off the streets, really, to get him fixed so he couldn't impregnate anybody. And his mother had rejected him, and they were going to have to put him back on the streets because she just didn't have the time to work with him, right? So, and we're, she, so she calls me that day, and the next day we're traveling to New Orleans to bring me back to Florida. Look, the bubble machine ran out. Hold on. We can't be without bubbles. So, crazy. So, we just so happen to be traveling through the next day. Yeah, we can't run out of bubbles, guys. Jax likes the bubbles and his wings. Let's fix your wings, Jax. Come over here. We'll fix your wings. Come here. Come fix your wings. Come on. Come get your
put a bunch of crystals on top of his playpen because it's like one of these covered things. Come here, Jax. Put a bunch of crystals on top of his thing and um and just put on some animal tones for him. Cause that was like the first four days. We're talking constant tones, Bach flower remedies in his water. Anybody who has a traumatized pet, Bach flower remedy is really great. You put it in their water. Jay Schubert told me about that. Thank you, Jay. Jay is so great. Um so, this is so crazy, y'all, there's so much. Okay, so, little Merlin is not letting love him, you know, his ego's strong, it's got him in survival mode, if you even flinch your arm, he's hiding in the corner, right? So I kept coming, and I kept coming, and I saw myself so much in that man coon, and I thought about Ron trying to offer me that suggestion to make my life easier, trying to offer me that help. protecting myself from it, criticizing it. Look at your life. Your life's not so great. You know what I mean? Like just because I was too defensive, right? So my ego made me defensive because I had to protect myself because early on before it was safe to love, they did have a lot of people who were attacking me and I had to have these tactics, you know? So Merlin is progressing beautifully. Merlin was my gift from the universe for doing my work well. But it gets better. It gets better. So, Friday, I go pick up Courtney Russell, who, thank you, Courtney, for helping me set this up. Amazing sister. Um, Courtney Russell uh, was here. We were going by all these stuffed animals. And uh, I see the little boy coming down the street with some mail. My next door neighbor, very nice family. And um, I only check my mail twice a month, I have to admit. And the reason for that is because mail depresses me. And I, one thing I've learned in co-creating is don't do things that irritate you often. You know, if you got something that's really bad, that it, that you, or not bad, because you shouldn't look at things good or bad. But if you got something that really just, you know, you're still having issues with, like that I have issues surrounding abundance, but that comes from issues with self-worth. But irregardless, I only check my mail twice a month. So I was not going to check my mail before ceremony. In fact, I still haven't. And I'm not going to check it too closer to the 50, right? So the neighbor guy is walking down the street with a package. And I thought, watch this be something trippy. Because I wasn't expecting that. So he hands me this. Address to Evan Roberts from my address. And yes, Evan Roberts, if you're missing this item, I will be getting into the post office on Monday. Um, but I believe in magic and spirit and signs. So I knew that while it had a different name, it was an era made when someone ordered it, put the wrong address, but I know how spirit works. Spirit wanted this package to come to me, right? And it knew it had to come to the neighbors because I wouldn't check my mail. So I got misdelivered to the wrong address. I opened it up. Now I can believe this. Look what this is. Let me go show y'all the screen. <laughs> it says, support from the shadows with the crow, which is my spirit guide. And then this shirt, <laughs> this is so great. It says, Reapers, Reapers. I look up what this organization is and it's a branch of the military. My late husband was military. While this is the Air Force, this is like the cleanup crew that comes in, they got drones and stuff and they, I didn't get into all the things they do, but they but they're the cleanup crew, right? They're the cleanup crew. So. I thought it was so beautiful confirmation from the spirit that I'm a shadow slayer, right? I'm slaying them. I'm doing my work well. And they've been supporting me the whole time. And while it looked like my life was falling apart, it was not. It never was. It was so I could reinvent myself and rebrand myself and realize what really mattered which is a better connection with my son because one of the ego things I realized that I do is I move too quick. It's a very specific reason why I move so quick. It's to keep my mind real busy so I don't have to think about the things that really matter. Because I'm too worried not liking myself, afraid to be myself, which I'm not afraid anymore. Um, too worried about what everyone else would think and trying to do things for the outside world. Even today with this set, you know, this is crazy. My phone, um, my phone 
late this morning I got that last post out advertising with my son's shirt for Alice in Wonderland and then can't get on Facebook well, I go ride to the Verizon store they're closed I try to get on with the chat guy we keep getting disconnected and I was about to cry right and I, and I usually actually cursed my guys I said really really and then all of a sudden it hit me Divine just popped me on the head and the light bulb went up. Silly, your son doesn't want to do lives. He needs multiple takes. You don't need to be going live on Facebook. This is not about Facebook and about their approval of you. This is about creating something beautiful and magical with your family. So it doesn't matter what time you start. It doesn't matter if there's mistakes. It matters that you and your family have fun doing it. this project on daylight savings time springing forward at springtime because if you remember I did this pretty good video about what do you want to be if you could do be or have anything and you only had to give 30 minutes a day effort what would you want to do be or have over the next 365 days do you have 30 minutes a day but I didn't start in January because they took my teeth out of my mouth and I was having self worth issues and I wasn't going through it I'm not going through it totally getting like involved in, in him we're starting uh the school starting a gardening program over there we're uh, gonna do a gardening program here so he can teach people one day how to grow his own vegetables and foods which is a fifth dimensional thing we should all be moving towards but anyway so we decided that to get more in alignment with the astrological seasons we should start to plan our schedule when we close out business for the winter when we birth new projects for the spring not to mention, I think it's a really lucky thing. Me and my son doing this together with my family on this day. And it's an honor, St. Patrick's Day. I love y'all. One of the shadows I'm working on is I talk too much. So I'm going to hush my mouth. We've already did a line up. Now we're going to do a sound bath. And what angel man
special. This is uh, Enduro Crystal Technology. Enduro Crystals is the great crystal technology that powered the great city of Atlantis. It's a technology. It's not just a crystal. It opens up a portal. It has the ability to maximize your manifestation power. Now remember, whatever you're trying to manifest, Thank you for your continued support. I love y'all.